so excited about this game. Oh my god, so Mantic um, made Mars Attacks, and I got to see some of the um, Martian models earlier this year at Adepticon, just the one model with the little freaking cap on his head, but I, I should confess early on, I'm super, super huge fan of Mars Attacks. Um, of course, I'm the kind of girl who loved Tim Burton. Um, so when a B movie came out, this, I guess it's like, I look at Mars Attacks. I had a conversation about Mars Attacks, and I know this is waxing philosophical, but this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to fangirl it out. I had a conversation with my brother about Mars Attacks, about how I love it because it is a true B movie. Um, with like the most A list of casts that you could get in the 90s. So for for us to see that kind of B movie theme and like all that all that fun the funness that happens with B movies as well as like the just the unapologetic violence, um, which is kind of what I love about the, some of those those pulp movies. Um, they just they just went at it. This uh, this game is exciting to me because uh, because of that, because I love the movie, first of all, and also because, uh, because I just, I love the, I the idea of that, like, the game and this kind of really interesting license. So, I'm gonna peel back the plastic. Yeah, this is new. I haven't even, I haven't even opened it, so. You're gonna find out with me what we get. This is a two-player game, 30 to 60 minutes. Do not be all that surprised if you might see myself and, uh, another person who happens to live in my household playing this game, and it will not be my daughter. Um, because she just doesn't understand complicated major games yet. But let's let's have a look in here. Um, first thing we have this mat. Ooh, it's like intersection road, very standard, basic kind of uh, field of play. It's paper. Um, I think the Kickstarter back backers got a nicer one, but but this one's pretty cool. It's fine and it's rendered well, nice enough. Um, Oh man, characters. So character sheets here. I just I think I lost a few pieces in here already. Uh yep. There's a few bodies in here. Um grandma, old man, um, and some monsters. There's a couple of the push out tokens. Standard fare for gaming stuff. Mm, Mantic Games cards. Ooh, stick your Mantic points on this card for free rewards on the website. Uh, and post us your card. That's actually really cool. I, you know, the idea of having like a points card system and that sort of thing really, I know it, it reminds me of in Canada, we used to have this like popsicle uh, reward system where you'd like take your popsicle sticks and they'd have points on them and you'd save them up and you could get cool things. Um, I dig that. I kind of dig that that old school retro feel to, to just saving up your little tangible ticket points and, and keeping them up. Oh, it looks like this is a wound card of some sort. Here, standard plastic again. And the rules! Oh, look at that. These are actually pretty substantial, but full color on everything. A, first of all, yay. B, uh, Martians, whoo. Um, this is Mars Attacks. And the models and counters. It gives you all the lists of components. I'll throw up the component list. See if I can get it in, in focus without glare. Oh, that's glary. Uh, is that a little better? Battle mat, rule book, fold out mat, Martian games, all that stuff. That's a three by three, the, the mat's a three by three. Got a whole bunch of ruins as well, apparently, which is uh, pretty nice. And breakdown of all the rules, fighting, moving, shooting, line of sight, cards. Ooh, there's cards. Um, abilities, and so forth. I'll probably go over this a little bit um, more more in depth and detail in terms of of getting through this. Once I actually play a game, I'm going to try this out. I'm, I'm actually very excited. I'm going to, I might, may or may not paint the models before playing. I honestly, um, I'm just really stoked to try to play it first and then slowly get the stuff painted, kind of like the way I approached Zombicide. So, terrain, we have ruins here. And, you know, I mean, I, I've i seen Mantic's models and quality of their models before. Quite common, quite calm. Like, they're solid in terms of creating what they do. And and um, as far as I understand, they say that this terrain is, you know, like, clicked together, kind of really simple. 
think there are, here we are, let's try it. I'm gonna try it right now, live on camera for y'all. So let's see this here. Ugh. Okay, so this clips in here, this clips in here, and you have a wall. Oh, okay. I, I can get behind that, I guess. That, that doesn't seem too difficult or challenging. Um, what is this here? Oh, cool. This goes this way. So you can actually like build them like that. Uh, presumably you're going to stick glue in this. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of starter kits don't require glue, but I'd probably just stick some glue in there and, and build them up. But yeah, it's actually pretty cool. And they're actually they're quite nicely detailed too. Let's see if I can get a focus on that. That's actually not too bad at all. Um, nice bricks. So let's see, we've got these ruined walls here. Um, fencing. Stop sign in there. There's some great. It's not too bad. Um, oh, a shopping cart attached to a fence. That's, that's uh, actually pretty hilarious. I, I, I can dig that. And again, like I said, uh, Mantic makes really great. They make great models um, for the price point, especially. Like if you're you're looking for alternatives for, for, I know a lot of guys picked up a lot of models for alternatives to Games Workshop models and skeletons and such, and, and they look, work great for that. So, oh, and these are what I'm, okay. So let's, let's actually get to the meat of the things. They advertised one piece models for the actual models themselves. And, and these, this is the model I got to actually look at while I was at, uh, at Adepticon. And, oh, look at these. Look at that. Okay, so. It's an alien with a freaking alien-style rocket launcher, even though they're all, like, disintegration beams. Ah! Okay, let's open up these, these helmets. And. Uh, okay, let's see here. Ugh. The plastic is actually... For these helmets, they're very, very, I don't know, they're, they're pressed together kind of tightly. I'm not a fan of that. I'm trying to separate them without breaking them or bending them or, or messing them up. It's kind of challenging, actually. I'm not a fan of that. Hmm, let's see if there's a way I can twist them. I'll twist, ugh, I'll twist from the top off and see if that comes off better. Yeah, that's better. So the best way, I guess, to take these off, because they're stacked up like that, is to kind of pinch the top one. Give it a twist and pull it off. Let's see if we can... Oh my god, that's gonna look so good painted. Clear head and everything. Oh my god, I'm so stoked about this! Oh, okay. Yeah, I... I see, now I have to go and paint these models, because they're just... Oh, they're so cool. Look at them, they're so cool. Okay, so yeah. I'll put the little helmets away, because knowing me, I will totally and absolutely lose them if I don't. Put this away right away. So there's quite a number of those actually. Let's see here. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. There's ten in the pack. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. I'm assuming there's ten in this pack too with a with a character because there there was a special character listed in the rules that I saw as flipping through. Um, red models and beige models. So that's interesting. Civilians, I'm assuming. Civilians and army dudes. Which actually, I, I kind of like the base color too because it makes painting camel a lot easier. Not that I wouldn't spray them with a base coat, but um, for those of you who, who try the crazy stuff and go without, you know, there's an option there. Uh, they just remind me of basic soldiers. I'm, and these guns kind of bent, but everything looks like like it's it's easy enough to handle again one piece they're all one piece they all come ready ready to play with which you know for stuff that is kind of bridging the gap between tabletop war game and like the standard tabletop fair like the board game style fair uh i'm a, I'm a fan of one piece models so i think that's a brilliant way to go <gasps> oh the civilians here among the civilians I have the great leader i'm gonna pull them out i have to pull them out I wonder if there's a plastic helmet cover for him. There must be. There must be. Oh my gosh, 
look at that. I'm, well, that's, that's just, that's, that's super cool. Okay. Now, now, now I'm happy. I'm, I'm super happy. Okay. There we go. Components. Check. I'm, I'm peeling open these cards. I'm going to have a look at them. Oh, the cards are really cool. Okay. I'm going to, looking at this back one, I'm going to try to crank this out here. Um, it looks like the cards have like an effect for for aliens and non-aliens? Okay. When you play a model on the human side... Play a model on the human side. I want a model. Okay, here. So humans have certain cards here. Let's have a look. What's in here? What are these cards? So, there's a bunch of like Random events, I'm assuming, and then these ones look like they're abilities. So, like, Martian friendly, uh, or Martian, I guess, Martian, bad for Martians, good for Martians, I'm assuming. Mind control is good. Scrabble choose two Martians in a single square, at least one of whom is not marked as activated. They start to argue about which one has zapped the most humans. Both are marked as activated. So, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I, I, I can... I can dig the uh, the dual functions of the cards. That's 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 actually pretty awesome. Um, so there's that, and these I want to have a quick peek at. Uh, if burning cattle on the board, scatter four. Scatter four. This takes them off the battlefield once they're removed. I mean, I'm really, I'm kind of excited. I actually like the art too. I mean, like I think one of the things that bugs me about some board games, particularly. Um, is I'm not a fan of like real photographs as as component art. It just it just doesn't do it for me. Like um, unless it's, like in universe photographs that are like taken from a show or something. If it's actually drawn from the show, I can totally get behind it. But like kind of staging models and then taking pictures, it's really challenging, um, particularly for uh, science fiction fantasy kind of universe games so I, I just I have a hard time believing it. I'd, I'd rather see for example in Mars Attack civilians who are drawn rather than a model depicting them unless they are specifically the actor who played them in the movie just in their costume etc etc pulled directly from the movie um, if that that makes any sense and I think that's partly to do with it's really obvious it's for me it's really obvious when it looks like a staged model on a black background looking really cheap and all that stuff whereas uh in universe, I can. I am almost more able to forgive uh, film quality and those kind of elements um, when it comes to game components if they're they're drawing it straight from a TV show or whatever. So yeah, that that looks like it's Mars Attacks. I'm I'm actually really stoked about it. I love I love how much they've done in this rule book. It like it just looks so good. Look at they use the models in the rules like and oh man. Anyways, I'm really happy. But there you go. See, again, we have we have characters who are drawn and illustrated. Um, for me, I, I think that it it helps immersion rather than hurts it. Because um, I just, I don't want to... It's, especially when you know they're getting disintegrated. There's humans who are going to get disintegrated. Um, imagine a real person getting painfully destroyed that way is uh, it's just not a good way to go. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. This was the Mars Attacks unboxing. I... Uh, I'm still really new to unboxings, so if there's things I actually should be going over, like, hey, look, look at these, like, eight, there are six, uh, eight-sided dice, ooh, they go one to eight. Um, if you want me to do more of that and less of the fangirling out about, about, uh, games, let me know in the comments. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be figuring out how I can get a game with this in pretty quick and, uh, and get get uh, someone to play with me and then maybe paint some models up. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more or what you'd like to see out of this. And uh, if there's anything you want me to, need to paint out of here, I'm obviously going to do aliens. Duh. Um, but vote if you don't mind. Vote if I should pick some civilians, if I should paint the army dudes up. Um, I'm actually not as well versed in, in camo on humans as I ought to be. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.